This video is sponsored by PCV Gogo. In this project, I demonstrate how to set up smart home automation with Alexa using the ESP32 and Amazon Echo Dot. I will be using this custom made PCV for this project. We can control four different home appliances using the voice commands. Here is the demo. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay three. Alexa, turn on relay four. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay four. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay two. Alexa, turn off relay one. Okay. Apart from controlling the devices using voice commands, we can use these manual switches or push buttons for this project. When push button is pressed, the relay will toggle from previous state. So let's get started and find out how I built and assembled this PCV and also how I did the Alexa settings. Let us first build the hardware for this project. First, I draw the schematic using the Altium Designer software. My plan was to make a compact portable PCB for this project. So I chose assembly registers, capacitors and LED. I chose 220VAC to 5V DC converter from Hilink. For providing power to ESP832 raw chip, I chose the ST7333 voltage regulator IC. The four channels relay is separated from the high power line using PC817 optocoupler IC. All the design requirements have been fulfilled in this design. I then designed the PCV using the same Altium Designer software. The PCV is compact and looks awesome. This is the 3D view of the PCV. This view basically tells how the PCV will look like. Then I generated Curve 5. It is time to order the PCV. So I visited PCV Gogo, which is the official sponsor of this video as well. You can get your trial PCV for only $1 here. I uploaded the Gogo file and filled in the details like material types, dimensions, quantity, thickness, solder mask color, and all other required parameters and then i clicked on a quote now here you see the price has gone to zero dollars you just need to pay shipping charges now add to the cart and place order now after five days i received this pcb look at this pcb quality it is very premium and has a perfect design for my project If you want to order trial PCB for free, check the first link in the description. Now it is time to solder all the components on this PCB board. First I collected all the components for this project. You can see this bill of materials that has the list of all the components for this project. I placed all the assembly components on this PCB first. Then using the soldering hot air, I assembled all the components. Then I soldered all the through hole components. Now you can 
can say my PCB is ready. This is the ESP32 raw chip. Power is supplied from here. The AC power is converted to 5V DC by this Hi-Link module. The voltage from Hi-Link is fed to this 3.3V regulator IC. This 3.3V IC supplied power to ESP chip and all other components. These are for optocoupler IC which is to separate high voltage from the relay to the board. These four relays are used to control four industrial appliances. You can connect the AC appliances at the output terminal. These four push buttons are used for manual control. These four headers can be used to solder four switches in place of four push buttons. At the back, you can see some diodes, transistors and registered soldered. To program this ESP32 chip, you can use this program pins. You can directly connect the FTDI module here and upload the code. Let us take a look at the coding part of this project. In this project, we will be using the Aspelexa library to integrate the ESP32 home automation board with Alexa EcoDot. This library is Arduino friendly and can help ESP32 communicate with Alexa and EcoDot devices. Here we have defined the relay GPIO pins and also the manual switch pins. From these lines, change the Wi Fi SSID and password. In these lines, you can set the name of your devices such as light bulb, TV, washing machine, or whatever you want. Now moving down, we can see the functionality to turn on off the relay based on voice commands or best to manual switch. This code can also change the light brightness from 0 to 100%. You may go through the code for better understanding as I have commented on most of the lines and commands. So it's time to upload the code. For that, first connect the ESP32 with the FTDI module using the jumper wires. Then connect the FTDI module to the computer using the data cable. From the tools menu, select ESP32 dev board and then a com board. Now you can upload the code. Once uploading is done, remove the FTDI connections and let's connect an AC lines here. Just use the screwdriver and tightly screw it. Then plug the AC line into the AC socket. Wait for some time to establish Wi-Fi connection. Let's set up the Alexa app now. First, download the Amazon Alexa from your App Store or Play Store. At bottom, choose Device. Tap on plus sign here. Choose Add Device. Then select Light. Scroll down to bottom and select Other. Then choose Wi-Fi connection. Tap on Discover Devices. Alexa will search for the new devices. It might take a minute while searching. In case if short files, keep trying again. Now you can see here, 4 devices has been found. Perfect job. Now they are successfully listed on Alexa app. Now it is time for the action. Let's test it with the voice commands. Alexa, turn off relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay three. Alexa, turn on relay one. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay two. Okay. Alexa, turn on relay three. Alexa, 
turn on relay 4. Okay. Perfect. It works pretty well. Alexa, turn off relay 4. Okay. Alexa, turn off relay 2. Let's press the manual switches now. It works well again as you can see the status of push buttons is toggled. I just used LED indicator for this project. You can connect your AC appliances at the output of the relay. That's all from the video part today. The complete project details including the bill of materials, schematic, PCV file, Gerber file, source code and all other details have been uploaded on the How to Electronics website article. You may read the Alexa setup part as well. In case you have any doubt, comment down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.